Very excited because now we know who the mole is finally. It's Heath. The last person I expected. I did not expect it to be Heath. Well done, writers. Um, well done on the whole, like, switcheroony. And also, I love the choice that it's him because then he's best friends with Ozzy. So Ozzy's going to be really upset. Ugh, it's just a whole kerfuffle of, of shit. And now we got to watch these characters kind of figure their way out through it. That's really it. Oh, I also should say, <laughs> I know I'm wearing the same, I'm wearing a different shirt. I changed shirts and earrings. But um, I filmed last week's episode and this week's episode back to back. So I'm, I'm not going to be answering the questions or reacting to the comments from last week's episode. I'm going to just pick an earlier question to answer at the end of this episode, which by the way, I do that. If you didn't know, I answer questions at the end of these episodes. So stick around till the end because then I may answer your question. <laughs> And also, if you want me to answer a question in a future video, comment it down below. Anyways, okay, previously on the next step. All right, so the recap goes as follows. Um, 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 <laughs> I just watched it. Oh, Chad and Rochelle are doing the show. They're putting the show together. And while they're trying to convince Nick to give them money, in order to do that, they put this little dance routine together about love and friendship. And essentially, they like fell in love They've been falling in love throughout this whole season, but like they're essentially like professing it to each other and like whatever. They did a little dance routine, they fell in love. Then we have James inviting Piper again to come to New York and Amy, you know, or Amy and Piper are now like, oh, we're gonna go to New York. Like we wanna go to New York. Like they've realized now that this is what they want, but they wanna use the show to get them there. Which also now tells me that that kind of negates the whole prediction that I had put forward of like, oh, they're gonna all like have to leave the show for these other things and Rochelle's gonna be really upset. Okay, so maybe that's a prediction for this episode, the storyline for, for that, because they also in the previously on, I should say, touched on Rochelle saying, I know exactly what we need to do to go pro, but I need everyone to believe in it just as much as I do. Which obviously like that's presumptuous maybe to say without actually having everyone's input first and like is everyone cool with this idea like no 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 there's no considerations of that she just it has to be Rochelle's way or the highway and so I'm curious to see how she responds to Amy and Piper's plans to maybe go to New York after this it could happen after the show but it would be more interesting I think if it conflicts in some way who knows what they're gonna do then the final piece of the puzzle freaking Heath is the mole I'm really sad about that because I love Heath he's my guy but it, it's complicated, you know, and that makes him maybe more interesting. A complicated person. Fun. All right, let's keep watching. Your timing is totally off. I wouldn't have messed up if you weren't in the wrong spot. You know what? Do you like my not filming this right now? Thanks. It's important. It's cinema verite. Mm. Oh, yeah. And remember however many episodes ago, Kingston and Lily broke up. But it, I guess now it's like been a bunch of episodes, so they're not gonna touch on it. But oh yeah, but Heath is, oh wait. Things are getting out of hand with Kingston and Ozzy and I have to fix it or it could wreck the whole show. He has to fix it or he could wreck the whole show. You know what I wanna know? What are Keith's motives? Why is he the mole? You know? I wanna know that. Um, of course they're gonna touch on this. They have to, they have to tell us why he's doing these things. Otherwise we just assume, you know, that he's an asshole or whatever, um, which like he could be, but not on this show. On this show, there's always a reason why someone why someone does something. Hi, dance fans. It's Tiara Bling here with new intel from my insider at the next step. He says that it seems as though Piper and Amy. Wait, he says. She slipped up. She's not supposed to say he. She's supposed to say they say. Oh. Also, how does Heath know about Piper and Amy going to New York? Is that what she's about to say? Might be abandoning ship. They've got their sights set on moving to the Big Apple, New York City. And I can't say I blame them. Get out of there while you still can, ladies, and start fresh somewhere new. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, how does he know that? How does he have that information? Maybe they'll explain it. Uh-oh. So you're moving to New York? Were you ever gonna tell me? I, I'm not oh, moving yeah. to New York. I completely forgot about Finn, <laughs> her boyfriend, her relationship. It's, I just want her to like live her dreams and go do what she wants. Like, I don't want her to have to stay here for him or like for, you know what I mean? <laughs> ben just smiled at me. I can't believe you didn't tell me. 
It's another relationship drama because the other person didn't tell their partner that they were going off to do this thing. It makes sense. When you're young, you think you don't want to, like, ruin what you have. But, like, if it's a strong relationship, like, then go do the thing that you love and, like, we'll circle, we can, like, do long distance. But obviously at this age, that's just, like, not needed because, like, you're so young. Usually when that happens, it you're, it doesn't really work. Because when you're young, you don't know yourself yet. You don't know what you want. With you. you're, you're young. You have so much to learn. <laughs> Someone actually commented this in an earlier video about, like, how they got married when they were, like, to their high school sweetheart. I'm not saying you can't do that, too. I'm just saying from my lived experience, I did not know enough about myself at 18 to meet the person who I wanted to be with for the rest of my life. I really didn't. <laughs> Excuse me. Let's get this over with. I don't want to be here any more than he does. Enough with the verbal sparring. Okay, I know you guys are beefing because of his movie audition. But your friendship is much bigger than any part in a movie. It's also so interesting how I'm noticing the writers are including story points that we already know about. But I'm thinking, right, the audience who is watching this is quite young and you kind of have to remind them of story points because they're not going to be able to, to hold that information in their head from last week, which is why you also need the previously on and you also need the... Okay, because I'm like, we know, all, we know all this information. Why are they telling us? But I think that's why they're doing it. If you want to be there for the team, You'll stay and talk it out. So why, I'm sorry, I wasn't listening. Why was Heath, why does Heath want them to like be friends again? Isn't he against this whole show since he's being a mole? Why is he a mole? Oh gosh, I just want to know everything already. Okay, so we go one and two, three, but I can't figure out something to get even past here. Maybe. Something, I don't know, something like that. <laughs> you know, so, 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 something like that. <laughs> it's just so charming. Also, yeah, choreographing sometimes is such a pain. Everyone is a disaster right now except for you, so I appreciate you not being distracted by everything going on. What? Sorry, Michelle, I, I have to take this. Is that a... Like a, like a, like a friend who's like a girl that you're calling, like that's calling you? So like a girlfriend, like do you have a girlfriend? Are you single? Shad's a popular guy apparently. Maybe he does, oh, what if he has a girlfriend and this whole time we didn't know and so he's been like kind of doing this side thing with Rochelle? <laughs> they would never do that, I don't think, maybe. I don't know, it depends. Well, they could, it would just have to be, I don't know. Let's just keep watching. I'm really sorry about that, but I have an idea. Mm -hmm. Let's take a break. I'm not one for breaks, but maybe Shad has a point. You can only force it for so long. Okay. That's true. That's actually really good advice. You can't force it. You have to like let it breathe for a little. And then usually when you're like doing the dishes or your laundry, an idea comes to your mind and you're like, oh my god, that's the problem solving thing I needed. Right? <laughs> Would you agree with me? Sure. Yeah, it's true. I got the perfect distraction figured out. <laughs> a date with me. Come on, Michelle, let me take you on a date. I started this day saying there was going to be no distractions. And now I'm letting Shad distract me more than he already does. Who am I? <laughs> I have nothing to say. And because you helped me conquer my fear of flying, what better way to get them back together than to remind them of everything they've been through? If you've really got something to say, then why don't you just say it then? Oh god, I have something in my eye. I can see it. It's like a hair. I think it's gone. I have to keep an eye out for it. An eye out. <laughs> okay. This is not good. Kingston and Ozzy are fighting more than ever. So yeah, Kingston and Ozzy are fighting a whole bunch, and I don't really understand... Well, I understand why they're fighting, but like, why does it matter that they need to... I guess, like, why does Ozzy feel... Why does... What's his name? Heath need... Feel he needs to keep... To bring them to... Like, I don't... I don't understand his motives. Maybe I missed something earlier. Hi. 
My eye. I can see it. Okay. Hey. I should have told you about James' offer right away. Okay, not telling you was a mistake, but why would I bother you with something that was never going to happen? I shouldn't have had to hear about it through TR Bling. Yeah, that's like the main thing of this is like your partner needs to know what your life choices are going to be eventually. Like if it's a big thing, like, hey, I want to go to New York. What do you think about that? Like, or I'm going to New York and I need to tell you, like, why did I have to find out through this thing? It's the same whole thing with Kingston and Lily, like that whole storyline. I always thought that Finn and I were on the same page. But right now I'm not so sure. Well, obviously you didn't tell him what your plans were. He's gonna be upset. And yeah, he's got a point. He said exactly the thing. Okay, so this is, I have not been giving Finn too much credit. He's like much more per perceptive. I guess maybe it's just about the people he really loves and cares about. That's sort of sweet. That like if he really loves you and really cares about you, he can tell. Like he knows Piper so well, he's like, you're lying to me right now, like you- You obviously want to go to New York. And you don't want to admit it because leaving scares you. You don't want to tell me because telling me makes it feel real. Saw it coming. I was right. Where did he get a projector? A projector you know what i saw the other day on amazon they had this no it was like a an ad or something on social media and it was like a one of those projector things but it was like a box and it had like a speaker so it was like a speaker thing that like slid down so then the projector came out and it, it like you could put it at any angle and it'll automatically like scan the wall and flatten it to the wall so like even if you're you're shooting it this way it would flatten to the wall that's like not perfectly in front of you you know I thought that was cool. Everything in this show is like slightly antique and like old, and I kind of like that. This is kind of starting to feel like a date, and I like it. Mm -hmm. They're gonna kiss. Chad, that's it. Oh, I get it. It's gonna inspire her now to do a uh, like musical style dance number, like an old movie dance number. Like it, that's what it's gonna be. Like that's the. Yeah. This could be one of our ideas for the group dance. Dancing in the moonlight? Not quite, but we could use lanterns that look like the moon. Shad was right. Oh. I, I kind of wanted the like old movie theme. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Who is she? Who's she calling? Who is he calling? Who's calling you? Kingston and Ozzy are obsessed with trying to prove that each other is the mole. This is no friendly competition. Yeah, also, what if they find evidence that you're the mole, dude? Then you're screwed. So, get him off this topic, quick! Found this comment under Tiara Bling's post from DancerBoy9292. OMD, Tiara Bling has the receipts! Idea. Maybe they start looking at the comments of different people. And he's like, I know that this was you because your favorite number is 92 because it was the year that your dad was born. And I remember you told me that thing about your dad and how you, you always wanted to be just like him. And, and I bonded with you on that because, because I also want to be just like my dad. And then, and then Ozzy goes, yeah, well, uh, what about this comment where this guy loves watching hockey games and that those games remind him of like, that, you know, that were like inspiration for that dance routine that you did last year that was like a hockey themed thing and you asked me to be in it because we were best friends back then and blah 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 and then it's like they slowly start like naming things about the other person that is like actually really nice and endearing and it's like slowly but surely they like come they come to the realization that like they're fighting but like they actually still have this connection and they want to be friends and like their friendship is more important than the fight you know it through that but I don't know. We'll see what they do. That's totally something you'd say. I can't find anything pointing to you. To be honest, I can't find anything pointing to you either. What do you say? You want to join the sleuth crew? Finally, they are back together. Two this sleuths is back. So back. weird. Why? Why does there always have to be a bro handshake? You know, like why can't we just? And it's always different. Like, didn't wasn't it different the last time we saw it? It's just funny to me. It's like those e-girl handshakes that we used to do in season one when the e-girls were a thing. We would do, you make a G, or no, you make an E, and then you, and then you make a G, like girl, like, and you like, shake. I think I got this one. 
Your girls, yeah. I'm sorry about the phone calls. But I can 100% tell you that I don't have a girlfriend. I've never been more happy about that in my life. <gasps> oh. I'm really glad to hear oh. Shad doesn't have a girlfriend. So the signals weren't in my head after all. Okay, so what's the whole deal with Ozzy then? Is he not gonna... I bet you he's gonna like come in last minute. You should really go return that phone call. But she's so vulnerable, she doesn't want to kiss him because she's nervous. Right? I'm assuming. Shad and I have something really special. He really means a lot to me. I'm having so many feelings. Are you? <laughs> I'm having so many feelings, she said. All right, quick carrot break. Excuse me. What is this drawing? Good news is, Kingston and Ozzy are getting along. Bad news is, they're <coughs> obsessed with finding them all. Well, what did you think? What, like, wait, you're in the group, so I guess, well, and it's a good thing you're in the group, because then you can, like, navigate them around, you know, around finding you out. I wonder how he thinks this is gonna go. Like, and why is he, do why is he doing it? I just need to know why. Then I'm on board. But why? <laughs> Otherwise, we want him to be found out. He says that it seems as though Piper... Guys, this is major. How did we miss this? The mole uses he. Uh-oh. This piece of information definitely points to me. Points to a dude. Not necessarily to you, though. Also, um... Or someone who identifies as a he. Um... It scares me that I'm scared to leave you. I'm scared too. But what I do know is that you can't stay here because you're afraid to go. You have to do what's best for you. It will change everything. It always changes everything. Aw, Finn. What a sweetheart. What did I say though? She's gonna go to New York and they're probably gonna break up. I think that might be the case. That sucks. But I was right. <laughs> okay. They found the mole and they're gonna go tell Rochelle it's me. I gotta find the boys fast. Wait, 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 yeah, but you don't know if they think it's you or not. You gotta find out if it's what it is, who it is first, who they think it is first. Come on, dude. You've been you've been holding secrets for a long time. You should be a little better at this. <laughs> we found out who the mole is. Get out. Oh, what did I say? What did I say? Wait a minute. Was I right before? Hold on, this changes everything, as the next step someone in their talking head would say. I had this whole prediction earlier on that Shad was maybe best friends with Tiara Bling, or maybe they were roommates or something, and Tiara Bling, because they were friends, like, was getting him to fall in love with Rochelle so that he could call her, or maybe they're related in some way, is what I was thinking, is like their brother-sister, and so maybe he's giving her information. And perhaps, maybe Heath being the mole, is either a red herring, like maybe he's in cahoots with her because he's going undercover to try and figure out who the real mole is, or maybe he is the actual mole and that this is a red herring, and actually now that probably feels like the actual like the actual truth, but it's gonna be the thing that like puts a, a, a big shiv between them. Let's watch and find out. I guess that explains all the phone calls. I just feel so betrayed. Dun dun dun. That's the end, there we go, we're done. So maybe Shad is the mole, you know, except Heath is the mole. No, because Heath has said in his talking head, they're gonna tell Rachel that I'm the mole. So you know what I think might be an interesting, funny moment is that Heath's probably gonna come in in the next episode, he's gonna like break in and be like, <gasps> well, uh, I, okay, I can't explain. Um, you know who the mole is now, you know that it's me, and they're gonna be like, what? No, we thought it was, what's his face? And then he's gonna be like, oh. Maybe. All right, that's it. That's the end of this uh, reaction video. Question though, we're gonna do a question. Let me get it. Can you explain the every four year character changeover you referenced? Is that for all characters? Is that known? When are exceptions made? And what are your thoughts on that? Thank you. We were told from the beginning, we're gonna graduate every characters every four years. We're gonna introduce young J Troopers, young, you know, that's why Briar was in the show from the very beginning as a J Trooper, because they knew they were gonna keep her around. You know, so she's, I think, 
been the longest on the show because of that. But they said, you know, once you get to a certain age, we're gonna graduate you off. It's gonna be like a Degrassi style show, which for anyone who doesn't know, Degrassi is very much like this, but for more teen, a more of a teen audience. So it's a bit more mature content. The whole thing with the Degrassi is similar in that they have characters who graduate every four years, except some characters who are either fan favorites or they just really like their, their acting, they'll keep them on for longer. So they'll make the characters fail their exams and they have to skip a year or they, or they have to, sorry, um, redo a semester or two semesters or multiple years or whatever. They told us that we would be on for roughly four seasons. And then they started kind of writing characters off randomly after a season or two. But yeah, so sometimes there's exceptions. I just remember in season four, it was weird because they changed over characters then. And then in season five, they changed over them again. And so I remember season five being a weird transition season. And I remember a lot of fans being like, oh, I didn't really want to watch it anymore after that because I loved Riley or whatever, that character who's no longer on the show, which is like the intention. They want to bring in the same age group every single time. So it's not like a kind of show where it's like Harry Potter, where it grows up with the audience. It's a show that sticks to that age group and has to keep bringing in new fans every every four years or so which is tricky maybe i would imagine you know and so that's why they'll sometimes bring in new show owners every time so it's like a fresh take i hope that answers your question thank you for your questions and for anyone else who has a question ask it down below and i'll answer it in a future video thank you for watching i'll see you all next week i don't know what i'm doing i might do another reaction video maybe i'll do a vlog that might be fun i really want to do a vlog yeah. Okay, what kind of stuff do you want to see? What what do you want to what do you want to see from me? <laughs> Comment it down below. I'll it doesn't I'll just figure it out. Okay, bye. I'll see you next week. Bye.